today's discussion point is recycling. It's very controversial, but uh, we have to get into it anyway. So, um, in Hoboken, if, uh, if you haven't heard, uh, a couple of months ago, back in September, uh, they went to uh, what's called dual stream recycling, where I guess the, uh, the plastics are in one part and then the paper is in the other. Um, the key about recycling is that for people to do it, it has to be easy to understand, and it has to be easy to do. And, you know, this is, the, this is the paper here with all the explanations of what you have to do for the recycling. And it's like, okay, so plastics, it's only numbers one, two, and five, which begs the question, what happened to number three and number four? And why is it one, two, and five? I can't remember that. Can I remember one, two, and three? Yes, I could. So why don't they make five, three, and three, five, and this way we can recycle one, two, and three, if you can even find it. I don't know about you, but I've looked through my little plastics all the time, and that, that little triangle with a number in it, it's super hard to read if you can even find it. So it's got to be easy to do. That's not easy to do. Then there's a whole list of other things that they want you to do or not want you to do. Like, well, you've got to remove caps and rinse and dry things. And, you know, at this point, I've gone through eight other steps in order to just recycle something that at the end of the day, the, the, the jury is still out of whether recycling is super effective um, or not in terms of the cost management. So now I've wasted water. Uh, I probably wasted paper towels just to get the thing clean, uh, not to mention the countless hours that could be going into something more productive. So it's not easy to do. It's not easy to understand. Um, for instance, this is my, my Starbucks cup here. And, uh, you know, okay, so with this thing here, I'm not sure if the cup itself can be recycled or the little, I'm pretty sure maybe the plastics. The uh, paper sleeve can be, but it's got a lot of print on it. And the cup's got all kinds of print on it, so I'm not sure. And then the lid is, it, you'd think that it would be, but apparently it's not recyclable. I don't even see a little, little tag on there that says recyclable. But, you know, just in general, you can say, hey, oh, it's plastic. I'll recycle it. But it's not a one, a two, or a five. So don't do it. It says no lids, no pizza boxes, which are cardboard. But I don't get that because... You want to, it says cardboard right here, but then no pizza boxes down here. So now I don't know which plastics I can recycle, which cardboards I can recycle. I know I can't recycle styrofoam. That's a pretty given one already. And then plastic bags. Well, we don't even get plastic bags here in Hoboken. So why do you even put that on there? You won't let me have a plastic bag, then don't put it on here. It just aggravates me that when I go to the Kings that I have to put all the groceries in my pockets because I forgot my recycled bag. Anyway, this was the discussion point on recycling.